am Idella with Wisconsin CTC, and I am here today to talk to you about your SBIR budget. As we get into fall and we think about all the fun baking that's ahead of us, thinking about all of the ingredients that you need, just like all the ingredients that you're going to need for your SBIR budget. And it can be just as fun. So, but when your university spin out or this is your first adventure, you might think that, man, this is it's difficult. It's the difference between milling your own flour and going to the store and buying some. And so I want to talk to you today about five key areas of things that you can ask about so to make this a little less stressful for you, but also opportunities for you to negotiate for on behalf of your small business. The first is salary. So you really want to think first, who needs to be on the bus for this R&D project? How much you're going to pay? And know that not everything, you know, no one person is going to be on the budget for, for 100%. Second thing is um, all of the fringe benefits. So yeah, if you are paying things like um, payroll taxes and maybe contributing to healthcare and vacation, so you want to be sure to plan ahead and estimate what you're going to be spending on that. The third area is collaborator. So if you're thinking about working with the university collaborator, it's important to talk to the university early and understand what the direct and the indirect rates are. Different universities have policies around what their direct and their indirect fees are. And so this might be an opportunity for you to negotiate for your small business. The fourth area is fee for service. So if you are in an institution, a research institution right now, and you're working with uh, particular resources, you might find that that fee is gonna be different uh, if you're coming at it from a small business angle. So you want to be sure that you ask about all of the fee for services uh, early and importantly ask about this in terms of what that fee would be for your small business. And the last thing is compliance. You are definitely getting a federal award. There are things like audits and keeping track of hours worked and of course all the payroll, all of those things. So in your SBIR budget, you can account for what's called a fee and it's general use funds. And so using that fee appropriately, maybe to hire some services or obtain some software to make this compliance factor a lot easier for you. The SBR budget uh, can feel cumbersome, but it doesn't have to be hard. Definitely reach out to Wisconsin CTC and let us help you with the budget and all of your other SBIR needs.